I see good soldiering coming to life in exercise hardcore as part of our combat culture here at the School of Infantry. All right, y'all, welcome back to Common Arms Channel. All right, so happy Australia Day to all of y'all in Australia. Now, I gotta say, I don't know a whole lot about Australia Day. From my understanding, that's just when, like, the explorers landed in New South Wales. And I'm not exactly sure where they came from. I would imagine Great Britain or something. But please let me know a little bit of background for Australia Day. I know I could look it up, but I'd like to get the perspective from y'all actually in Australia or from what y'all know. So if you guys have an interesting Australia Day fact as well, please put that down below. Something that maybe a lot of people might not know. But yeah, today we are checking out something pretty cool. So this is from the Australian School of Infantry, and this is called Exercise Hardcore, which I guess is kind of like some sort of final exercise at the end of the School of Infantry to sort of bring everything together and test how everybody learned their skills, make sure that they're actually proficient in everything. So it's about uh, three minutes long, so not a crazy long video. Again, I wanted to do something special for Australia Day, but this is definitely a cool one. And of course, it's going to be close to my heart being infantry and yeah, just seeing people getting smoked is always a good time. So let's check it out. So really what exercise hardcore is highlighting within the soldiers is their ability to thrive in uh, adversity. So what we're focusing on. Okay, so of course I'm going to pause it every now and again just to check out the gear and whatnot. So the School of Infantry, I remember going through the School of Infantry in the Marine Corps. It was kind of like a blur. It was just like, it was a lot of fun, but it was also really exhausting because you're just doing a lot of stuff all the time, like shooting a bunch of different weapons, doing a lot of movements, doing a lot of training. It's good stuff to do all that sort of training, but yeah, I don't remember a whole lot from it. So the School of Infantry in Australia, I would imagine that there's multiple schools of infantry just given the size of Australia, but I'm not exactly sure. So I guess this would be for the Australian Army Infantry. Of course, if you guys have been through this or if you just know some background information, please throw it down below, especially if I say something that might not be totally accurate. To thrive in So the uh, packs adversity. and stuff so what we're and the gear looks pretty similar to ours. Looking at their physical and mental endurance and resilience uh, in an activity where they may not feel comfortable. Uh, they oh, nice freaking beret, dude. I gotta say, holy cow. I mean, the Oscam in and of itself is pretty cool, but with the beret, I gotta say it's a pretty clean look. Some militaries can't really rock the beret with the, the actual camouflage look. And I gotta say the flash is, that the beret flash is pretty freaking cool too. It looks like it's got the monarch little crown there. Maybe wet and they may be cold, uh, but what we're looking for is their ability to really find their inner strength uh, to push beyond their limits mm -hmm. uh, and really focus within their team nice. on achieving the mission. That was a sick shot. Man, doing stuff when it's raining and thundering is a lot of fun. I think exercise hardcore is a good <laughs> test for the future, the readiness of the infantry corps in the sense that it tests everything that they've learned, learned over the last 17 weeks. Oh, nice, And okay. it puts it all together. When they go to their units, whether they deploy on operations or they just go on exercises, they'll have to do every single task and ability that they've learned over the last 17 weeks into practice. And they'll have to refine them even more as when they get to their unit. But this yeah, so even like doing simulated, so, uh, okay, so they have the cat tourniquet. It looks like a Gen 7 as well, so. Good stuff. Again, we've been seeing the Australian Army, especially with like their with their infantry. They've definitely been getting some nice equipment. Now, as far as simulated casualties, that's not really something that we did in the School of Infantry so much. I don't remember us really doing it much at all. You get the training, of course, like the medical training as far as just being able to patch up basic stuff. But like doing these in the exercises really helps add to the realism and also the logistics as far as like maintaining a casualty and sort of like maintaining that like passage of uh, you know, transfer for the casualty. It takes a lot of practice to make sure that that goes smoothly and just getting the infantrymen to get them off the X and move them to like, you know, higher care really adds to the training and the realism. But it's cool to see that they're doing this here. Generally, that's usually associated with like more advanced sort of training or follow on unit training to do stuff like this. This is good, giving them a good basis of understanding so that everyone oh, nice. in the core can work together and then refine and enhance their skills later on down the track. Good stuff. The values that exercise hardcore builds on with the soldiers is resilience. Mm. It really pushes them through the limit. It is, it is the hardest thing <laughs> they'll do while they're here. Resilience. And it adds one of their tools in their toolkit for future learning and development as they go out into wider army. Okay, I've seen militaries do this, what they're about to do here. And 
It's kind of weird. So actually, the Israeli Defense Forces did this a little bit at one point. Generally, the Israeli Defense Forces, their CQB is pretty on point. But yeah, seeing stuff like this is just like so weird. I don't know what this would simulate because if you're an enemy combatant and you don't have a gun, you're probably not going to start punching people with guns because you're probably going to lose that fight. But yeah, generally speaking, it's going to be someone that's like hiding and then it's nice to just jump out and surprise them. But even still, I mean, in, in the right mind, you're probably not going to be attacking people with guns like that. But I mean, it's a lot of fun. It adds some stress. And uh, yeah, I mean, it's fun to watch. <laughs> it's like I'll add him to Water Army. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I see Just good soldiering coming to life in exercise nice. hardcore as part of our combat culture here at the School of Infantry. Good soldiering is just part of our every day of life and it is highlighted in exercise hardcore no. the soldiers when they are exhausted by physically and mentally. Whoa, okay, I gotta say the, the red training guns like that looks pretty freaking cool. We have training guns as well. It's a great thing, especially when you're not just trying to like destroy your actual weapons and whatnot and your optics, but it really helps when you're doing stuff like this. <laughs> oh man, dang, it's raining. Okay, I gotta say, I don't know how tall that wall is if they're just trying to make it look really tall, but climbing a thick rope like that really is going to be kind of difficult. But when you have kid on, it's even more difficult. And when it's raining, it's gonna be damn near impossible. So I don't know how many of these guys were actually getting over the wall. Cause you know for a fact, their boots are just constantly slipping out and they're just bashing their knees against the wall there. Dude, this dude's cargo pocket is maxed out too. <laughs> so I did this one time, little story here. We were doing a division squad competition and I was a squad leader for the squad. And we were doing some op school and I was, you know, down on a knee helping these guys get across this wall. And I was holding my hand around the other side of the wall. Not the best idea because people were jumping over with their weapons slung over their back. And one dude's M27 flung around and just the, the compensator, like the, the end of the barrel, just smashed my finger and there you go like the first day of the squad competition and my nail was gone on one of my fingers <laughs> it was not a fun time soldiers when they're exhausted by physically and mentally pulling together as a team to come through out the other end and that's exactly Hell the yeah. intent that we're aiming for for this activity i myself as a soldier came through here 30 years ago a lot has changed in those 30 years. Technology, no the advancements in training and our equipment is just nice. outstanding. For the soldiers coming through here, it's their final hurdle. It's the culminating activity of 17 arduous weeks of training. Oh yeah, there it is. Those hats are pretty freaking slick too. Very clean look. All right, nice. Okay, so again, Having an infantry background, especially in two different branches, I've been able to, you know, appreciate certain things with like the Marine Corps and also the Army and also in certain units because certain units will also emphasize one thing over another. But something that stays pretty consistent in the infantry is making sure you have a good grasp of the fundamentals. And it's really nice to have these final exercises because you're able to sort of test all these different things at once. Even like you get to do the stress inoculation like with that CQB there. Although you have guys that are actively getting like punched and pushed against the wall, you still have to maintain security. You still need to make sure that you have the appropriate amount of people in a certain space so you're not just getting super crowded. So as a leader or even like as a, as a soldier, it involves some critical thinking skills and having these final exercises really allows the instructors as well to sort of test the proficiency of everybody, especially when you get to add all this stuff at once. Cause previously it was probably only like one thing at a time. So here's your medical training. Here's like a, you know, a team lane or like a squad lane. Here's some CQB, but now you're adding a lot of this at once or you're adding some new thing to sort of see how people react. And that all goes back to maintaining the fundamentals, which is exactly what we're seeing here. So very, very good stuff. Of course, if you guys are in the Australian infantry, please feel free to let me know how that experience was. But definitely a very solid video from the Australian Army. And again, it's just nice to do these sorts of reactions for these special occasions. Now, I do think I was pretty overdue for an Australian reaction anyway, so it's kind of like me double tapping that. But yeah, definitely let me know if you guys have anything to recommend. You can throw it down in the comment section or you can throw it down in the Discord, whether it be something with the Australian Army or the Australian military in general, or even like the Australian police, that'd be pretty cool to check out. But yeah. 
Very, very fantastic recommendations. This is a solid channel. Of course, I'll put the original video in the description. And then in my description, you guys will also find the Discord, find the merch, and the Patreon if you guys are interested in any of that. But I do appreciate it. Thank you again just for supporting the channel and liking and commenting and subscribing and all that good stuff. But again, happy Australia Day to all of y'all in Australia. Again, if you have any cool Australia Day facts, please throw them down below because I'd like to learn a little bit more about Australia Day. But that is it for this video. I will see y'all in the next one.